What's up guys, Alex here, uh, otherwise known as Clash Style on the forums and today I'm just going to be taking you my first part of this tutorial series on the basics of tag making. So I know Dragon is also doing something similar um, but I'm just going to do another spin. I've already done a tutorial series that you guys can check out. Uh, I believe it was with a halo render, uh, something like that, uh, using C4D as a background. It goes through all the steps. You guys can check that out. I'll link it uh, down below. I'll also link it in the forum post if you guys want to take a look at it. But for this one, we're just going to be going through the absolute basics <coughs> so you guys can get a basic understanding of how to build up a signature from scratch. Now, for the signature that I'm going to be going for, we really don't need many resources, as we call them. We don't need any C4Ds. Um, it's going to be very limited. We're just going to do what we can with a render, a background, and then some brushes. So let's just jump into. It. So I'm going to. I've actually started here with a 500 by 250 uh, signature. If you don't know how to make that. Um, we're click control N on your keyboard or just go over to new. We're then just gonna type in here, make sure it's set to pixels, 500 by 250 and resolution 72 is fine. Okay, and this should open up this. And the render I'm gonna be using today, if we can find it in here somewhere, so it should be here, is a League of Legends render. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click and drag that into our uh, canvas and it will bring it up like so. And if you just hit enter on the keyboard, that will put your render into your canvas. And now we're what well, the first thing we're gonna do is we want to get rid of this text here. We don't want that to be in. So we're gonna create a layer mask, which is this little icon down here. We're gonna click on that once. We're then gonna come over, find a brush. We're gonna go up here to our brush settings, pick a hard brush. Everyone should have hard and soft brushes. We're gonna pick a hard one. Make sure you're on color black, make sure it's on black. And what we're going to do is we're just going to paint over that with black. And what that does is basically it erases it. But if you accidentally make a mistake, so if I erase a bit of the render over here by accident, you swap your brushes, you can click on this little icon here, or you can click X on the keyboard, and you can see it will put that part back in. Okay, so now that we have done that, we are going to look at the render placement, whereabouts we want the render. So first things first, I've noticed a slight white line down the bottom and that's because this render is exactly the size of the canvas. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blow up slightly just so the edges go slightly over so we won't have that little white line. We are now going to pick whereabouts we want the render. And I'm thinking that I'm going to want it probably over this side because if we just quickly grab a brush, I'll grab my tablet just so I can highlight this for you guys. Um, his eyes are looking down here like this. So that's sort of what um, I'm gonna go with, maybe have a, a few details down here, some glows and whatnot, and see what we can build up. <coughs> but the next thing I want to look at is the flow. So the flow of the piece. Now for those who don't know what flow is, it's the direction we want the tag to go in, the signature to go in. So for me, this one's pretty easy. You can see we're sort of starting at the tail, we're going around and up like this. And we're just gonna be looking at for throughout the piece. So this is the sort of flow that we are gonna be looking for, okay? So this sort of direction here. This will help the tag to, as I say, flow together and it will all come together much nicer. Okay, so now that we have the flow lines, you guys obviously don't need to keep these in. That's just for reference. We are gonna go onto Google and find us a background to use. So what I did, I literally just typed in spaceship, concept art. I clicked on this one right here. I had a wee scroll through and found this one, which I like. So I'm just gonna literally right click on it, copy, come back in here, make sure we're below the render, and we're gonna control V to paste that in. We can now get rid of this background just by uh, removing the lock tool and then uh, just click and delete on our keyboard. <coughs> we are now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna play around with this a little bit, see where we feel um, we should sort of place it. So I'm thinking something along these sort of lines. So this is just gonna be our basic background. It's not gonna be anything too special. Um, and now that we've got that in, we want to make sure that we've got that flow so you can see it, it does sort of upset the flow a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we are just gonna blend the, um, in fact, no, we'll, we'll save the blur till further on in the piece. What we are gonna do is start working on some of the colors in the background, because as you can see, 
it is quite different from the render so i'm just going to come down here quickly grab an adjustment layer which can be found right here this middle one we're going to click on that then we're going to come up to color balance okay we can now play around with the colors you can see you can add loads of blue add loads of red but we're just going to start playing around with this uh, ever so slightly we're going to add in a little bit of purple i think and some sort of like that we're going to chuck some green in for the highlights a little bit of blue and for the shadows we're going to chuck in some of that so you can see already that is starting to look much nicer indeed we are also what we're going to do is we're going to mix this up a little bit we're going to want these uh bits that were orange we're going to want them to be green so we are going to go for something a little bit like that and this is already coming together for me it's maybe a little bit oversaturated so what we're going to do is we're just going to go click here we're going to go into vibrance and we're just going to pull this down on both sides to something like that so that is what we had and this is what we have now so i feel like that blends together quite nicely we are now going to start by using the render to try and build up this background a little bit okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go find our render again and we're going to drag it not onto our canvas this time but onto a different layer now what we're going to do is we're just going to grab the eraser tool we don't need to use a layer mask for this one so e on your keyboard and we're just going to raise this text away make sure it's all completely gone we are now going to right click on our layer over here layer zero and we're going to click convert to smart object okay once we've done that click v on your keyboard or come up here and click on the move tool we're then going to click hold and drag into this canvas and you can see it's going to bring up nice and big for us we definitely want it to be nice and big we, we don't want it to be small we want it to be high quality render so make sure when you download it you get a nice high quality render and what we are looking to do here is start building up this piece um, bit by bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start playing around here I'm gonna go for something like this and again we are gonna be looking to use layer masks okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click here grab a layer mask we're gonna grab click B on the keyboard or you can go over here to brushes gonna make sure we're on black and I'm just gonna start raising away the bits that we don't want so it's definitely gonna be all these bits over here just a little bit there okay might erase this bit down here as well and the bit in behind his leg okay so i feel like that's a decent start there then what we're going to do is we're going to click Control j on the keyboard make sure we're on that layer we're then just going to delete that layer mask and continue to play around with this a little bit yeah and that's already starting to come together this background's maybe standing out a little bit too much again so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to grab a solid color grab one of the colors off of the main part um um oh what's that down in the bottom corner let's find wherever that's coming from here I'm just remove that i'm then just going to put this on to lighten bring that down a little bit um and that's uh, about four or five percent okay so that works okay so we have now built up our basic piece right here so if we remove everything you can see we obviously started with the render right here we then decided which direction we wanted the flow in we brought in a background it doesn't really matter too much because the chances are most of the time you are going to be covering up the background with some parts of the render but i like to just have it in there in case um we don't use we don't cover the whole piece with render so you can see these little bits that stand out we then used a few color and whatnot to just blend the piece together a little bit and that about does it for this first part of the tutorial so we've built up the background we've got our render where we want it we know how we want the piece to flow so we're going from this side over here through and up to this side and i feel like it is definitely achieving that right now for me so yeah, hopefully you guys uh, picked up something and stick around for part two where we are going to be looking at some more blending and adding in some lighting effects. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.